In the previous section, we learned about organizing the TypeScript code in multiple files using namespaces and ES6 modules. We learned about a disadvantage which TypeScript namespaces has and that's why we moved to ES6 module approach. But when we use ES6 module, there also we have a disadvantage. And the disadvantage is because of the fact that browser makes multiple requests to download the dependent JavaScript files. Let's see that with an example. So this is the code from our previous section. Now here, if I go to network tab, let me clear everything here. Let's move this window a little bit up. And if I refresh the page, you will see that these many files are downloaded. So first of all, index.js file will be downloaded. Then the style.css will be downloaded. And after that, from the index.html file, we are also importing app.js. So app.js will be downloaded. And from within the app.js, we are also importing user action.js file. So since this app.js has a dependency on this user action.js file, browser will also download this user action.js file. And in the user action.js file, we are importing user.js file. So since user action.js has a dependency on user.js, that will also get downloaded by the browser. So browser is making multiple requests here to the server. Here we have only three dependent files, three dependent JavaScript files. But in a real world project, we might have hundreds or thousands of JavaScript files. So for each of those dependent files, the browser will make continuous requests and response to download all the JavaScript files. And because of this, it will affect the performance of the application because there are a number of requests which is being made by the browser to the server. Now, these dependent files, these files will not be very big. These will be small files. But even though these files are small, when we are making multiple requests from the browser, it is going to affect the performance of our application. Now, the solution here would be to have a single JavaScript file which will contain all the JavaScript code and we will import that single JavaScript file in our HTML code so that when the document, when the HTML document will be loaded in the browser, it will download only one single JavaScript file. In that way, browser will not have to make multiple requests and response to the server. And in that way, we can improve the performance of our application. Currently, what is happening is when we are compiling this TypeScript code, it is generating multiple JavaScript files in the dist folder. So in the models folder, we have one JavaScript file. In the user utils folder, we have one JavaScript file and we have this main app.js file. And our project is very small. That's why we have only three JavaScript files. But in a real world project, we might have hundreds of JavaScript files generated from the TypeScript code. So instead of having multiple JavaScript files, which the browser has to download, we can have a single JavaScript file which will contain all the TypeScript code compiled to JavaScript. And from our index.html, we will point to that single JavaScript file. And in that way, the browser will only download that single JavaScript file, which contains all the code. So it does not have to download multiple files. Now, how can we do that? To do that, what we can do is we can use a tool which will bundle all our JavaScript files into a single file. And it will also do the minification. And for the development, it will also provide a live development server. And one such tool is Webpack. Webpack is a free and open source tool which is used for bundling and minification of your JavaScript code. By bundling files together, Webpack reduces the number of HTTP requests a browser needs to make, which can significantly improve the loading speed of your website. If you want to learn more about Webpack, you can go to webpack.js.org website. And here you can go to the documentation and you can learn more about Webpack. So in simple terms, Webpack is a tool which helps us bundle our files together into a single file. And on this page, you can find a comprehensive and detailed documentation for Webpack if you want to learn in deep about Webpack. Now, in this section, we will use some of the selected features only, which will help us use Webpack with TypeScript. So what benefits do we get by using Webpack? 
So first of all, we use Webpack for bundling the JavaScript files together. Then it also minifies the JavaScript file by shortening variable names, function names, etc. and removing the white spaces and line breaks. So in this way, Webpack not only bundles your JavaScript files, but it also minifies them. It reduces the size of the bundled file. And we basically use Webpack for bundling multiple JavaScript files into a single file. That means when we use ES6 module in our project, it allows us to write JavaScript code or in our case TypeScript code into multiple files. And when that TypeScript code gets compiled, it generates multiple JavaScript files. And then what we do is we use Webpack to bundle those generated JavaScript files into a single file. So in this way, Webpack allows us to write or organize our code into multiple files, which can be later bundled together into a single JavaScript file. And Webpack can also process and bundle other assets like images, fonts and CSS files. So that is also possible with Webpack. Overall, Webpack is a powerful tool that can help you create well-structured, efficient and maintainable JavaScript application. And in this section, we are going to learn how we can use Webpack for bundling our JavaScript code into a single file and what are the configurations we need in our project to use Webpack. So this was a very high level overview of what Webpack is and what we use it for. In simple terms, Webpack is nothing but it is a bundling tool and it is free and open source and it allows us to bundle multiple JavaScript files into a single file and it also minifies those files by shortening the variable and function names and removing extra white spaces and line breaks. Now in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's install Webpack for our TypeScript project and then we will learn how we can use Webpack for bundling our multiple JavaScript files which has been generated by compiling multiple TypeScript files into a single JavaScript file and then use it in our HTML file. This is all from this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.